climate change. Is it man-made or is it just part of a natural cycle? Who knows? No one thing for sure though, it's certainly got us talking and in many ways it's got us rethinking our behaviour. My house alone we recycle waste, we turn off lights, harvest our own veggies. Much to my partner's disgust, I limit my showering. Not sure if that last one helps the CO2 levels, that's just something I've chosen to do. But to take things to an entirely new level, I've been poking around for an eco car. A hybrid in fact, and I found a little ripper. It's a brainchild of Honda. The Jazz Hybrid is a practical, fuel-efficient vehicle with all the characteristics of a fun, stylish car. But before I begin to explore it, did you know, despite popular belief, it was actually Honda that had the first attempt at hybrid technology. In fact, it's in the car maker's DNA, which is why the Jazz is the latest to get the system. Which may have something to do with the fact that this is the cheapest hybrid on the market, $1,000 less than its nearest competitor. Now, the most interesting thing about a hybrid is, of course, its engine. The Jazz has a 1.3-litre four-cylinder petrol engine and an electric motor that combined produce 72 kilowatts of power, using only 4.5 litres of fuel per 100 kilometres. 4.5 litres. It's nothing. The petrol engine selectively shuts down cylinders through Honda's variable cylinder management system for frugal operation, and torque is directed to the front wheels via a continuously variable transmission, featuring grade logic control. Sounds like something that needs explaining. Let's ask a professional in the know. John. Hello, Dan. Yeah, great to meet you, mate. How are you? Good, good, thanks. Uh, thanks for letting us borrow this My pleasure. gem of a car. She's a beauty. Question for you. Um, I've got to know, what's the difference or the relationship between the petrol and the electric engine? I mean, why do you have both? Well, the petrol is your primary source of power. The battery is a backup system and an addition to the petrol engine. When you're not using the petrol, the battery kicks in, reduces fuel economy, increases power, and makes the car far more efficient. What's the eco assist function? I'm glad you asked. The eco assist function is designed to make you a better driver. Yeah. When the car's displaying green, it means that you're driving environmentally friendly. When it's blue, it means that you're driving badly. That explains the blue light. Yeah, most of the time that was on actually while I was driving. Um, and uh, mates have got a few hybrids back home. I mean, they've been on the market for a few years now, but I mean, what do you, where do you see the future? Well, Honda's got in more and more product that's coming out with a hybrid. Ferrari themselves initially said they would never develop a hybrid engine. The next model Ferrari is going to come out as a hybrid. Your Mercedes-Benz, your Audis, Lexus, they're all bringing out hybrid engines now. I think you're going to see, as we're all more concerned about the economy and in the environment, more and more hybrids are going to be available on the market. It's just a smart way to drive. On the outside, there's chrome blue headlight surrounds. It's got a pretty funky little matching grille. Some great, sexy kind of city lines on this car. And at the back, you've got these clear red LED lights and chrome tailgate. Check this out, I love this. There's enough space there for all the luggage. Behind the wheel, the Jazz, like most hybrids, is in a world of its own. It starts up with almost no sound, but under full throttle is where it speaks up. There's plenty of room for two adults in the back, six airbags, MP3 compatible CD audio system, Bluetooth, and a heap of dynamic safety features like stability control, traction control, and brake assist. Honda have improved the suspension, and now, around the suburbs, it provides a comfortable, easy ride, even on bumpier surfaces. You know, for me, the thing I like about it is simply, it's a Honda Jazz, with a reputation for being the most practical city car on the market. Difference being, it's now more fuel efficient. If you'd like more info, go to zoomtv.com.au and you can follow the links.